Well, actually, I didn't have much of a career dream when mm. I was young because I grew up on a farm. My, my dad was a tenant farmer and we were very small town, rural area. And I really had no idea or picture of what the big world was out there. Mm. Uh, when I became a, a junior in high school, 11th grade, we moved to the big city, which is now a part of the DFW Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex. And, and so I, the whole world opened up for me, but I still didn't have any career plans. And then um, I guess it was when that first book came out that, uh, well, I'll have to back up a little bit uh, where it really started. My husband was at that time was suffering from severe mental, um, well, I call it depression, but he was in and out of psychiatric hospitals. And so I knew I was going to have to make a living. <laughs> and so I went to a, a family friend of mine and I asked, you know, how am I going to make a living? I have two small children that I need to be home for. And he said, well, what did you like to do? Mm. And I thought, oh, gee, I don't know. I can't. And finally I said, well, I like to write English compositions in, in high school, but how can you make a living doing that? And he said, oh, no, I didn't ask you how you could make a living. I ask you what you'd like to do. Mm. If you like to write, figure out how to make a living at it. So yeah. that was a different concept for me. So I literally went to the public library and checked out all of the books in the 800 section. We didn't have Google back then to, to do that for us, you know. So I checked out all these books, about 50 or 60 books, filled up the back seat of my car and went home and just read around the clock all about how to write, you know, how to write greeting card verses to romance novels, to mysteries, to, to business books. And that's how I got started. Wow.